The common name of the mushroom shown in the video is called Big Laughing Jim. It is one of the most iconic potential psychoactive mushrooms existing in nature. The scientific name of this mushroom is Gymnopilus junonius or Gymnopilus spectabilis. Suggested by mushroom expert on iNaturalist website, the possible species of the mushroom grown here is Gymnopilus subspectabilis, which is a variety. The genus Gymnopilus is saprobic. It is often found growing in clusters on decaying conifer or hardwood stumps or logs. To pick this mushroom is fairly easy, and in order to determine the genus of the mushroom, a spore print collection is necessary. Big Laughing Jim is widespread, and it is in general a fall mushroom. You can find this mushroom on the continent of North America. It also has a global presence. As shown here, the mushroom deposits a rusty brown spore print. What makes this mushroom interesting is the fact that it contains a psychoactive compound psilocybin. As indicated in the red circle here, the blue staining on the young specimen is owing to the oxidation and polymerization of psilocin in the mushroom. A research paper published in 2011 by both Chinese and Korean scientists proved the existence of psilocybin in the mushroom. In the literature, 20 gram of dried mushroom yielded 20 mg of psilocybin. Therefore, it equals to 1 mg psilocybin per 1 gram dried mushroom. Another important feature of this mushroom is a ring structure on the stem. The ring is a remnant of veil and it is present on both young and old specimens. Comparing with a young specimen, the large fruit body does not show any color reaction. The whole mushroom is orange colored and can generate a large specimen with caps as wide as 10 inches and stems as long as 8 inches. This mushroom tastes quite bitter because of the presence of toxic compound gymnopinin. Gymnopinin does not only impart the taste of the mushroom but also cause gastrointestinal distress to some people. As reported by my friend, they encounter vomiting, stomach cramp, and diarrhea due to the ingestion of this mushroom. Hello everyone, uh, today I wanted to introduce you to a, a very interesting mushroom. It is a psychedelic mushroom. In China, we call this mushroom laughing mushroom. And uh, there's a common name in English, it's called Big Laughing Jim. The reason why it is called Big Laughing Jim is because a psychedelic compound, the psilocybin, containing in this mushroom. Most of the time you will think, oh, uh, the psilocybin will only exist in the mushroom in the genus psilocybe. However, it is not. There are also other mushrooms um, containing this psychoactive compound. In the group that people ask me that, oh, this mushroom looks so similar to the honey mushroom, it does not look very much like uh, genus Amillaria. For the honey mushroom, it has a very slender stem or stalk, but this one has a very bulbous bulk, a bulk stem. Another thing which differentiates this mushroom from the honey mushroom is that it has a very distinctive smell. It is fruity, floral, and has a smell of anise. Another way to tell them apart is the taste. I believe this mushroom is very bitter, so let me nibble a little bit. <coughs> Holy moly, you cannot eat this mushroom. It's, it's very bitter. If you do not know uh, whether this mushroom is a honey mushroom or it is the gymnopilus, the laughing, uh, the laughing mushroom, you can just simply take a very tiny bite, but you have to speed it up. Um, you will understand what this mushroom is and you will definitely not take it back home and to cook it. I want to tell you something interesting about this mushroom uh, from um, folklore or some uh, cultural background. This mushroom is mostly a legendary mushroom. For example, in some novels, and people go on to adventure with a group of people, 
uh, they suddenly find some uh, big, uh, chunky, interesting mushroom. They're just so hungry and they eat the mushroom and they start to laugh crazy. They go crazy. Uh, or you can call them become trippy. It is described in this novel or folklore, Laughing Mushroom. And uh, people always wonder, uh, does this mushroom exist? As a matter of fact, it does exist. It's just difficult to encounter because as for me, even this is the first time when I was hunting the mushroom in the forest, it's my first time seeing this mushroom. But when I see, I knew, okay, probably this is what I'm thinking of. It is also said this mushroom is poisonous, but um, I believe uh, depending on the species, it may not be poisonous, but still I do not recommend at all for trying this kind of mushroom. Uh, I think it is a very interesting mushroom to talk about. I hope you enjoy this video and learn something different. The general public may think the presence of psychoactive compound psilocybin is only in the mushroom genus psilocybe. Nevertheless, genus Gymnopolis is also quite notable for this attribute. A great presentation on the topic of psilocybin containing mushroom given by Alan Rockefeller can be found on the YouTube channel Mushroom Wonderland. The link of the presentation will be given in the description if you are interested in this topic. Here are some photos I took in the field, hope you like them. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe. Your support will help to spread the knowledge of mushrooms and maybe to inspire people to build a better world. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.